Hello folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to install what sounds like a turbocharger in simple planes on some any vehicle you want. So this is just uh, a rock crawler I built. You probably know about this if you've been on simple planes, but currently it has no turbo. You can hear, you just hear the sound of the default Simple Planes engine. So, the best way I've found, the best sounding thing, it would be this Blasto BFE 300. It, it's just it's just a large turbofan jet engine, and you're like, but how would I fit that on here? If you, if you know anything about simple planes, you'll know that you can shrink parts pretty easily by going into the overload XML editor and going to part scale, which is in the main parts section of this. And then you can change it to something. So I'm gonna go 0.1. So what that did is that set it to 10 times smaller basically on all axes so it'll be 10 times smaller and you can see that is quite a bit smaller so that works now we can now we have something a relatively good size so then the next thing you importantly you need to do with this is turn off its power so you'll get the sound effect but you won't get any power from the engine it won't actually be pushing your vehicle faster unless you want that but then it causes some other problems so if you didn't see what I just did, I came back into this XML editor and instead of, and then I clicked on this menu and went to engine, this option right here. And then on the top, you'll see an option for power multiplier. And right now it's set at one, which is the default. So set that to zero. And that'll mean it produces no power, but it still runs and sounds and creates noise. Okay, so now you have an engine that is the right size and doesn't produce any thrust but you need to link it up because right now it's linked to throttle and these this engine that back here that powers the tires is linked to pitch control so just link it to whatever you have set for your main engine so for this I have pitch as the control so for this just go to pitch and now it'll be set to the correct thing now that's the basis of it. So all you need to do now is go to here and if you don't want it sitting there on top because it looks kind of ugly, you can just uh, sink it in to the body of it, which you can kind of still see it. So I'll put it a little bit farther down. All right, you can see and here. Oh, that's right. Well, in all my wisdom, I forgot a, <laughs> a pretty important thing here. Uh, so, I'm used to not having this lovely tool here, but all you need to do is click this so you can see inside here. But, so one thing I forgot, very important to do, is go to here, back to the parts. So when you shrink it down, you also need to get rid of the mass. So at the bottom, one mass scale, put that to zero, and drag scale, you can also put that to zero. That'll basically make it so this engine has no effect with reality. It cannot produce any thrust, and it doesn't weigh anything, and it doesn't cause any drag on the vehicle. Because before, you saw I crashed, it was very top-heavy, because this still had all the weight of a full-size engine. Because when you scale it down, it doesn't scale down the weight. It just scales down the apparent size. So... You also need to get rid of the weight. And now once we've done that, back, hopefully it'll work this time. Yep, that's much better. That's pretty good. But you say, I want it to spool down faster. 
and spool out faster. Well, you can do that. There's, uh, if you go to here, back to the XML editor, and you go to engine, and then you add another one of these sections, and you go to name over here, you can type in throttle response. Okay, now take note at the format this is in. So you can see it's lowercase at the beginning, uppercase, the second, the first word is lowercase at the beginning, the second word is uppercase at the beginning and there's no space. That is the format. You can see all of these are that way. The first word is always lowercase and all the words after that are uppercase in the beginning. The first letter is uppercase. So that's your format and you can write a lot of different codes that way. But specifically this one, throttle response, and then over here when you go to value, you can type in any value. I believe one is normal. Okay, I think it's, I don't know exactly what the figure is, but I'm pretty sure it's around 0.2 or something like that. 0.2, that's default, but you can set it to whatever speed you want. So the lower the number, the slower the engine will spool up. One is pretty fast. Two is really fast. So I'm going to set mine to 0.7. Uh, and you can hear that it'll spool up faster than the first time. right away when you hit the throttle. And then you want the turbo to rev higher. You can also do that. Go to controller input and down here find max and that just determines the max RPM of the engine when at full throttle. And you can set that, the default's one, and you can set it to anything else. Three. Pretty cool. So that's the basis of how you can set up a, a sound effect of a turbocharger. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments section. I'll be more than happy to answer them. You know, if I know the answer to them. I hope you learned something from this video and can implement it in any of your builds. And thank you for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed this video.